Well, the snow made for a beautiful scene at Brandywine Park in Wilmington. Paths had to be cleared, so some ventured out to walk the dog, appropriately bundled up in their winter gear. Let's show you the scene earlier today in Lansdale, Montgomery County. People there woke up to just enough snow to shovel. Traffic moved pretty smoothly as most roads were just wet. A few brave souls faced the elements head on to get in their morning workout. Now, as more snow falls in Pennsylvania, PennDOT crews are prepared to plow roads again tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Padrillo is live at a salt yard in South Philly with more. Hey, Matt. Hey, yeah, Pennot has plenty of salt to go around. Take a look behind me. This is just a fraction of the 100,000 tons of salt Pennot has on hand in the Philly region. Uh, to the right, there, this is one of the trucks that's about to be loaded up with that salt. And we got an inside look about how Pennot monitors road conditions. As long as there's winter weather, there are PennDOT crews out there working. With more than a dozen monitors and hundreds of traffic cameras in our region, PennDOT crews carefully look over streets and highways to make sure traffic is flowing smoothly. Incidents, any uh, crashes that may happen, traffic, just monitoring the traffic that's happening in the Philadelphia region, the five counties. A team works around the clock inside this dimly lit room called the Traffic Management Center in King of Prussia. While crews in the field start to treat roads. We have crews that will be out through the duration of the storm tonight and then in through tomorrow morning. Officials say starting 6 o'clock Tuesday morning, many state roads, including much of the PA Turnpike, will have reduced speeds. Still, today drivers acknowledge PennDOT did a good job keeping a lot of roads clear during this morning's commute. Seems fine for right now. It all depends on how the day goes by and how the snow is. And right now you can see salt is being loaded into this truck. Moments ago, we saw about five or six of these big trucks leave here. They're all uh, they're heading out to treat the roads. Meantime, a doctor we talked to urges older people to consider asking for help when it comes to shoveling because it could lead to heart attacks. We had that part coming up on Eyewitness News at 6. For now, reporting live in South Philly, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Matt. See you in about an hour. Well, the morning commute could be pretty difficult, so Eyewitness News is going on extra early for you. Jim, Rahel, Katie, Chandler, and Pat will start bright and early at 4 a.m. They'll have all your school closings and delays, as well as the latest weather and traffic updates.